Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your girl Bad Luck Kitty or you can call me Kitty and today I want to talk to you about public enemy number one here in Merida. Yes it has warmed up nice and toasty and the weather is great and life is good and everybody is out and about to include the ants. Listen the ants here are ridiculous so i'm gonna do a little short video and just show how i fight uh the ants actually i don't fight them um because technically they would be winning and i don't want to accept the defeat but i just want to share a tip a little trick that i use um to save my goods okay i get these jars from uh shajari shajari I, child, everybody butchers that word. Um, <laughs> and I get it in the quart size, and I think this is the pint size. I'm not exactly sure. So I use them for different things. Um, for example, like my salad toppers, croutons. I actually, my daughter eats these for snacks. I don't eat them on salads. Um, as well as uh, brown sugar, as well as regular sugar flour, like all my baking goods, and as well as oatmeal and rice as well. I had to buy two more because my cousins came to visit me and they were nice enough to bring us Jiffy Mix, all right? We love this stuff, right? However, the last time I got some smuggled in, uh, the ants got it. Um, on the shelf. So this time I made sure to protect the precious by putting them in a um, in a container. And I also got this smaller one because also while my cousins were here, they got this rice from, I want to say Costco. They didn't eat it all. We're not big rice people. We actually have rice more so for the dog because I make his food versus us eating. However, my baby did enjoy this rice from Costco. So we are going to not give it to the dog and we're going to store it as well. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take a second and wash these and then kind of just talk to you about what I do for the ants and go ahead and just restock my cabinet. Another thing I wanted to talk about is like the differences in containers. Okay, so these containers here are um, glass. They say they're made, made in Italy. Sorry to burst. So I have the, the door open for better lighting. Uh, at first when I got here, I bought these containers to store things, right? And one day it came in and it says sugar on the front and the uh, the ants were in here enjoying their sweet sugar uh, I do however this is a tea one I still have tea in it so I want to make sure you get something that seals really well these all have this little rubber seal on the inside and basically what I do is I just take it and I put it with this little tab thing to the back You're gonna stretch it around for a good fit. Now one of these came today with two of them. I don't know if that was an accident or not. If it was, I don't think I need two. I mean, it might be nice to have two on the, like the brown sugar or whatnot. Just put it on there. So once you have it in the lid, then when you seal it, you know, you get like a airtight seal, right? So I like these better. Another storage option is to use these Ziploc bags, which are fine. They're just not cute. That's the only reason why I prefer not to use them and use them for something else that's, something else that's temporary, not something that's gonna be long-term storage in the kitchen. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and fill these, fill these up. Let's refill the oatmeal. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not going to do the, um, 
method where you dump it out and then add the fresh back. I'm just not, we eat everything in here we consume regularly. So I don't feel like anything will go to waste or expire before we eat it. Uh, quite honestly, this thing has been emptied. I don't know how many times in the pursuit of feeding, <laughs> feeding my baby. She's, she, she can eat. Okay. Okay, so ma'am, oatmeal is done. We have rice. I have a bag that I keep all of the um, stuff that like all the bags of things that don't fit put them all in one of these Ziploc bags together for the cornbread mix one thing that I was worried about was like how will I store these but be able to keep my servings the same uh, so that's why I have my scale here so on the box, it says net weight 8.5 ounces or 240 grams. So I just use my scale whenever I get ready to make cornbread or muffins or whatever that we're going to make. And I'll just use my scale to me measure out 240 grams of um, corn muffin mix. Not to be confused with cornmeal because this has additional stuff in it uh, don't ask me I, I know I'm not you know I'm not a master chef of any sorts and someone might ask well why don't you get cornmeal like here in Merida the texture the texture is different so I haven't learned how to finesse it like that um, I was able to make decent um, dressing out of it but again it didn't need to be uh you know fluffy or anything like that i'm really hoping i can get all these boxes in here don't leave me here and drive. Another thing you want to do is make sure you, I mean, keep your house however you want to keep your house, but, you know, clean in the kitchen at night before you go to bed, before you go to bed, sweeping up any little teeny tiny crumbs and a food storage is the biggest thing. Baby, you 
This is the final project. So you can kind of see how I have everything stored here. This was originally my bar. However, it's so low and I don't have enough storage in the kitchen. It became like an additional kitchen storage space. And so this is how everything looks. Yes, my eggs are out. <laughs> I have not found a solution for cereal. However, the cereal comes and goes so fast that I'm not even sure if I need to find a solution. So this is what it looks at the end. Thanks for watching my channel. Until the next one, talk to you later. Bye.